Good morning, Abby Tedros here at the WBTV News Now Desk. Coming to you with some breaking news on this December 22nd. We have been following a crash on Interstate 85 southbound in the area of West W.T. Harris Boulevard as since the early hours of the morning. Our Sharon Hayes live on the scene right now. We know from police that this is a crash that involved a CMPD cruiser. Sharon, I want to get right out to you. What can you tell us about what's going on here this morning? Well, good morning, Abby. What I can say is that it's still a very fluid situation out here on I-85 southbound. We're on the West W.T. Harris Boulevard bridge that's right um, over the interstate. And um, as you can see, there are still several uh, countless Charlotte Mecklenburg police officers here on scene. We're also seeing Charlotte Fire, of course, State Highway Patrol and more who came out to assist the situation. And obviously the focal point of what we've been see like showing this morning is that Charlotte Mecklenburg police cruiser that you see right next to that Jersey wall there, um, obviously involved in this crash in some sort of way. And it is uh, comp very seriously damaged, very mangled um, and very alarming to see, you know, for people at home, this might not be something that's easy to look at, but it denotes like how serious this accident has been this morning. And of course you see that tractor trailer that's right by it. Now what we have just gotten confirmed from Charlotte Mecklenburg police is actually that an accident that we were on scene for around one o'clock this morning is connected to this accident that we're told happened around 3 30. now around one o'clock we were at this exact same spot um, for an overturned tractor trailer and what charlotte mecklenburg police have told us is that there were some officers who responded to that crash they were trying to shut down the road get those first responders on scene to help everybody involved in that crash and then another tractor trailer hit um, at least one of the police cruisers. Now we're being told one by a state highway patrol, but we have seen two, again, very seriously damaged Charlotte Mecklenburg police uh, units on scene here. So a lot of this information is still coming out and we're still trying to hammer down more of those specific circumstances that are happening with this particular crash. But what we what we can say is that we have confirmed that those two accidents are connected and that those uh, police that police uh, unit was hit after another tractor trailer hit it while they were trying to shut down the highway for that first tractor trailer that overturned around one o'clock this morning. Abby. Wow, it just goes to show how dangerous the job is. You see that heavy first responder presence out there, Sharon, and got to say that it's uh, less, significantly less than what we saw when we took your live picture at 430 this morning. Uh, and this is something that we have been on scene for since the early morning hours. I do want to ask you about those traffic impacts because we are in the middle of the rush hour commute. So Police had initially told us that they were diverting traffic at Mallard Creek Church Road. What are you seeing out there now? Is it still an issue this morning? Well, here on West W.T. Harris Boulevard, for the most part, um, it's open specifically, but um, they are they they are not allowing anybody to enter the highway. Now you can't see it because the scene is literally like directly behind us. And um, Devin, do you think you could kind of turn around a little bit if possible? We're gonna try to turn around here so you can kind of see what we're seeing here. Keep in mind that other stations are here as well, trying to get out this information to their viewers too. Um, but you can see that Charlotte Mecklenburg police are out here on scene and uh, they're letting people for the most part travel down West W.T. Harris Boulevard again to that exit, uh, that Mallet Creek Church Road detour that they've mapped out. But nobody is allowed to get on the highway here on um, on I-85 southbound because this investigation is still very much under underway. Now, also, if you want to know some additional detours to avoid this crash, you can also take the inner loop of Interstate 485 all the way down to Highway 29, North Tryon Street, and then take North Tryon Street onto I-85, um, the I-85 Highway 29 connector. Also, you can take the outer loop of I-485 to Interstate 77, and then take I-77 South um, if you're headed to Uptown Charlotte 
Charlotte as well. We have all of that mapped out on WBTV.com. Our team has put that together just to make sure that you kind of can keep your distance away from the investigation that's happening here and then also get to your destination as safely and as quickly as possible. So make sure you check that out as well. Abby? Really good information there, Sharon. Thank you so much. I did hear sirens in the background during your report. Are you noticing more first responders coming or is that something that you, you think may be different from that scene you're at right now? Well, what I can say, um, as I said, Abby, it's a very fluid situation out here. I've seen some first responders leave. As you said, it's definitely not as much of a uh, police presence as we initially saw. But what I can say is that they're constantly coming back as well and constantly going down to that scene down there, um, again, presumably to continue their investigation. And one thing I will say is that about an hour and a half ago, right when we were still in shows, I did see an ambulance pull away from the scene out here with their lights going and it was escorted by several police cars as well so obviously connected to this accident in some way although we don't know the identity of the person who was in that ambulance and of course we're still checking on the exact extent of those injuries um, that happened out of this crash and as soon as we learn more information we will update you guys with that information as well um abby sharon thank you so much I, do you mind if we get another look at that live picture closing in yeah. on that cruiser i know that you were sharing with us some of that information that you gathered from police saying that those two crashes that our crews responded to they're connected there's one that happened at one this morning and then another one at 3 30 around the one that you were at and that police cruiser looks to be in terrible shape and uh you were saying that you saw an ambulance uh, there in, in a cruisers leaving the scene. Is that correct, Sharon? Yes, um, and that happened again while we were still in shows. I would say around um, the early six o'clock hour, we did see an ambulance again leaving here, lights flashing, uh, it, you know, definitely appeared to be in an immediate hurry and it was being escorted by several police units as well. And so again, obviously connected to the situation out here but we just we don't know who was in there just yet and we have been checking constantly with medic officials um, on the extent of the injuries like who was hurt uh, and then worst case scenario if this happened to be a fatal accident so at this point there are a lot of unknowns um, but what we do know as you said Abby is that um, there was there were at least two tractor trailers involved one with that initial crash where it overturned around one o'clock this morning and then when officers were trying to block off the highway to assist uh, with that accident one at least one CMPD police car was hit by another tractor trailer and that is the scene that we're looking at right now Abby. wow Sharon thank you and I could see that that other tractor trailer out there as well. Uh, going back to what you showed us previously, uh, that there are multiple crews for uh, media crews out there this morning. So I would imagine that we would potentially be able to get an update from a uh, public information officer. Have you heard anything from police about a news conference regarding what happened? Um, yes, I, you know, this situation is very serious and so a lot of them are very busy right now so we understand they're going back and forth trying to make sure that everybody's okay trying to make sure they're handling the situation as best as possible but as you can tell there were several officers immediately behind us here they're constantly you know moving back and forth and they did say that they were working to get somebody to us to um, hammer down some of the specifics with this particular crash as soon as they're able to lend those resources to us to learn to learn more so we're certainly going to be here at this spot um, and as soon as you know he he or she comes up we will like reach back out to you guys in the studio and we'll try to have that uh, for people online and on air as well i appreciate you sharon giving us those breaking updates and the workarounds if anybody is normally taking interstate 85 southbound in the area of west lbt harris boulevard for their morning commute so we appreciate you sharon if you guys are watching on facebook live this stream is going to end however we encourage you to check back in with us on channel 3 wbtv news 757 coming to you live with this breaking news update giving you the very latest as far as what we know about this crash confirmed that a CMPD cruiser was involved. You saw it on scene, two tractor trailers as well. 
our coverage will continue online as well. We will continue to check in with Sharon as new information comes in and we will be watching for an update from police as well.